what's up you guys it's your girl taylor may jane here and we are back with another slate today okay if you want to see how this came out make sure y'all keep on watching but don't go any further let you like comment and subscribe I, like comment and subscribe all right but hit that good old notification bell because you do not want to miss what your girl got coming next i ain't gonna hold y'all no longer because i know y'all probably want to get straight into it and i'm talking too much so i love y'all and i'll catch y'all the next slate keep on watching Y'all, we coming back to back. Uh, looks coming back to back. I'm gonna use my body boss as I talk. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This video might be like 25 minutes long. Only because I'm about to be in depth. And when I'm in depth, I take a long time to do my makeup. So y'all, I had to put a bonnet on because for some reason, my camera, like I never filmed with my hair down. So my camera kept just going like popping in and out. And it was getting blurry like crazy let's go ahead and prime our skin of course i always go in my milk makeup primer because it honestly just grips the product so so good um it gives your face like a tacky feeling so when you put your product down honestly all it does is just like it holds your product in place on the back of my finger i just use one little pump put it on my forehead and in my eyes and i'm just rubbing the rest of it like throughout my face. So let's go ahead and get straight into skin because that's what we do. I jump straight into skin. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I like to use the MAC 190 brush. This brush just gives my product really flat on my skin. It helps me distribute the product evenly throughout my face. I only use like one pump, like one and a, one, like one and a half pumps. Everything that I do to one side, I'm always gonna do on the other side. If I do three on top, I'm gonna do three on bottom. I'm gonna brush it on the side of my nose a bit. So when I do that contour and that concealer, it just blends in. Then we just put it on my forehead. That's it, y'all. That's it for foundation. Now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Sand because I really love a bright under eye. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna put so much. That's all I'm gonna put for the Tan Sand. That's good, you see that? And then we're gonna take our deep right around that. Just a little bit, like I scraped my brush the the wand of it you see how it comes like that i scraped it whatever's left is what we're going to put on that's how flat it is when i be telling y'all i'm not using a lot of product like i'd be serious like it, it looks like it may look like a lot of product but it don't be well to me it don't be hmm. you know some people might be like girl bye that is a lot of product all right and then we're just gonna go down the nose so for contour, I want it to be a little softer, so I'm gonna just go straight in with the 210. And I feel like that's enough. I haven't been contouring my jaw lately. I don't know why I did in the last video. But it's all right. That's enough. There you go, that's enough, sis. So let's get it. I use my Real Technique brushes for blending. So as you can see, I have two here. This one was for contour because it's dark deeper. And then this one was for foundation. I only use these for my foundation and my contour. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation one and just start by patting all over where that foundation is and blending it out. And I just like to tap. So I go in and I tap, I push it into the skin. That's literally all I'm doing. I go fast. So it may look like I'm doing, I don't know what it may look like I'm doing because honestly it looks like I'm tapping. But for some it may look like I'm swiping or whatever. But I'm literally just going in and like tapping right there. I'm gonna take a little bit more to cover this little blemish right here. Let me take it on the tip of my brush. It was like a very, very little bit. Just like that. I'm just tapping everywhere I put that foundation. Y'all see how this is just blending so smoothly is because I'm honestly just like, I didn't use a lot of product. So there's not much to blend. And then I just went in like, and I'm just tapping it. How good this look. Y'all, I don't think we're gonna be at this all day because I feel like we already getting done. Okay, so when I do my foundation, I mean my contour, I take the bottom of the brush, like right here in this area, just like the bottom area, and that's what I take to blend out the contour. So I'll go in and I'm just gonna tap it. Y'all see how the like the bottom of the brush is touching and the top really isn't? 
it looked like it is when I'm, I'm going faster, but honestly, the top really isn't touching like that. The chin part, I don't mind if the top touches because I'm just blending that out. And I don't mind if it like goes down all the way under my chin because I need to get rid of this little fatty pack right here. And I'm just doing that on both sides. Y'all see how this is just blending? We are blending. And doom, 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 doom. Next we'll be touching. Doom, 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 doom. Y'all can always go back and carve your contour out by using like your foundation brush. If you don't want it carved out too much, like how I go in and carve it out. If you don't really want it carved out too much, just take your foundation brush or whatever's left over on it and just like go in and clean up that contour. I'm taking this wig off today. For my under eye, I use the same two brushes all the time. I use my Real Technique setting brushes. I use one for powder and one for blending. And I tap this too. I tap all of my products. And when you let your products dry down a bit, it already kind of like melts into the skin and it's already warmed up a bit. So when you go to blend, it's, you don't really have to do a lot of work, honestly. Like I put my foundation on first and then I have to put my foundation on, I put my under eye concealer on and then my contour on. The contour is not gonna dry because it's cream, but the foundation and the concealer dries. So by the time I'm done putting everything on and I go to blend out that foundation, it's already dried down. So it's easy to blend and make it look, you know, airbrushed on the skin because you let it dry down a lot. Do y'all like this zoomed in, like how good it is? Like how good it's zoomed in right now? I mean like how close it is? Why well, people say how good it is? How do I know if y'all think it's good? But <laughs> do y'all like how close it is? Like, um, I like it, but I don't know. I be thinking like sometimes it may be a little too close, but it also lets you see in detail and see like up close everything that I'm doing. And you guys get like a real play time of how it looks. I'm gonna go around this nose because this is the part that most people miss. Don't let that product cake up right here. Blend that out. I made that mistake on one of my clients and I could tell in her pictures and I felt so bad. I don't know, I don't have to move my nose to do it. I normally just do this. You feel me? But for some people, you might just have to move your nose, okay? Yeah, see how that is looking already? Like, sis is blended. Sis is blended. We Okay, so I'm gonna blend out my nose contour, but I'm gonna just go in, and as y'all can see, I'm just tapping. Everything that I do, I always tap. I never go in and just like, you feel me? Like, you don't wanna do that. Well, I don't wanna do that. You may wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. So, I just go in and I tap. I think I've pretty much found the products that I wanna keep in my daily rotation, okay? Y'all see this coming together? I'm just blending down this nose contour because it's starting to dry and so it's leaving like little dots. <laughs> That's okay. Because I got a trick for you, little nose. We're going to blend out this concealer right here. Y'all see how this is just like <sighs> blending and it's like looking full coverage. It's because I let it dry down. And I'm not gonna put an extra dot today, like I usually, I might. Let me shut up and stop lying. I'm looking down into my mirror, making sure that this blended. Because ain't nobody got time for that, okay? And then you wanna make sure it's all even on the nose. Cause if you leave it like that on the nose where it looked like your nose is gonna look contoured like that. So you always wanna take your concealer over and make sure everything's even. All right, I'm gonna scrape the, the wand again and I'm gonna put one dot. And I'm gonna actually take this dot, I'm gonna scrape the wand again, like all clear. I'm gonna take this dot and I'm gonna spread it out. Only so, and I'm gonna take this down my nose. A little too light. I probably should have used the deep instead of the tan sand. I'm gonna blend this though while it's still wet. This is how you get the snatched nose. Make it real thin on the tip, top of your nose. You wanna make it real thin. 
Y'all see how it's like not going into that contour? And then there's a trick if it does that I just started doing. There's a guy who actually like um, pinches, pinches like real noses. He takes it and he pinches it and it actually looks like it does make a difference. However, he does it when it's like all the powders on and it's dry. I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna kind of like blend down this contour to give it like that pinched effect. Just like that. And then we're gonna blend out this side. Now that it's dry down enough, and this just make the under eye bags look lifted. When I stack product in one spot, it honestly looks like it just lifts my under eye bags on that one area. He's airbrushed dish. All right, so let's go in there with that powder before this under eye starts to crease because I have creasy under eyes and you can't get away from that. So don't make, let anybody be like, oh, you can get rid of your under eye creases. No, you can't. It's genetic. Can't get rid of y'all. You can conceal, you can hide it as much as possible. But if you have under eye creases, they're gonna show. I'm just setting everywhere we put this concealer and I'm just taking the brush and I'm just patting. And this is just a Sasha setting powder. And as you can take, tell, I take it and I dust it and whatever's left on the brush, as y'all can see what's left on the brush, I take it and I just push it into the skin and I move it around. I don't ever wanna push the same product in one spot. Like it's just gonna build that powder up. If you push it, put it on your skin and then start moving it around, that pro that powder is gonna move. Believe it or not, that powder will move. It's not gonna just sit there. Cause it's loose powder, it's, just, it's gonna move y'all. I'm just tapping this right over all that concealer. Anywhere that we put concealer is getting set. I'm gonna bake a little bit, just like right here. Just to make this under eye look a little more lifted. So the reason why I bake is so that this under eye just looks more lifted. Like to help with those bags being more hidden. All right, so I'm just tapping everywhere we put that highlight, that concealer. We just tapping that powder right on top of it. Y'all definitely don't have to bake. If you're not a baker, you don't have to bake. I didn't used to bake ever. I just got into like baking like a couple months ago. But if you watch all my old videos, I ain't never baked before. I'm just going over this nose and just setting it. However, when you set it, you don't want to just set it like and just let that powder go everywhere. Y'all see how I set it literally right on the concealer? And when it's like too much, I go on the sides and I just like dust it off. And it in a way sets this contour on this nose. If y'all don't want to go back over it with powder to make it darker, you can do it just like that and leave it there. So all that's done. We did all of that. So now we just got to do is contour this face with some powder. So I like to use this MAC powder if I want like a more subtle contour, like this color here. I like to go in with more of a subtle color and I'm just going on circular motions. You could tap it on first if you want to. If that's a preference, you could tap it on first and then kind of like blend it out. And this is just a Morphe M437 brush. It's like a, a rounded dome, like a, it's very stiff brush. So it really packs that product on if that's what you're looking for. Of course, go in with some blush. So I'm gonna choose between these two colors. I might go in between the two colors, honestly. Lightly tap. I like to sweep like a brush, like you like a like a broom. When you sweep your floor, I like to sweep my cheeks. So the skin is pretty much done at this point. All we gotta do now is just let that bake a little longer and do our brows. So what I like to do first is go in and set my brows with some powder. It's like after you put all that product on your face, you don't want your brows to be oily or greasy or slick to where the product isn't staying. I got my good old ABH dip brow. I'm not doing any eyeshadow whatsoever. Like Shayna, do not do any eyeshadow. Dang it. I gotta pep talk myself, y'all. Because I be just want to go in. But you can't go in. You can't step into the light, Caroline. Step away from the light, Shayna. Let's do these brows. 
brows looking a bit cray cray. I just followed a natural shape of my brows, y'all. That's it, that's all. Y'all see how subtle that contour is? Jesus Christ, I need more. Shayna. Y'all, I don't know if I could do this. All right, I need to dust this powder off from under my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is take my all over setting brush. This isn't the powder, I, the brush I normally use. I would normally use the same brush that I did my highlight with. I mean, my cheek, my blush with. But honestly, like, a brush has a lot of blush on it. So I like to tap and swipe. I never just go in and swipe even after baking because I just feel like it makes my under eye skin look scaly. So now pretty much all I got to do is take my, I'm going to take the rumor A7 base and I'm going to conceal my brows with this because it's not too deep in color. And then I'm also going to blend it all over my eye and then set it with my concealer shade. I mean, set it with my setting powder. I don't know if I want to clean up the top of my brows though, that's the thing. And then I'm just taking this, another setting brush. This is just like uh, one of the OGs because it's the dark pink one. They have like, the all of them are like light pink now. But this is one of like the originals, okay? So, but it's the same brush, it's just different colors. And I'm just taking this and I'm blending out the base. I'm gonna set this. We gotta set it with some powder. So I'm gonna use this banana powder. I mean this Sasha Light Buttercup powder. And set it with that lightly. So we don't want it to be too yellow. So let's put on our Fenty mascara. Now y'all can really like get into this Fenty mascara because for one, first let's spray our face because I don't want to. I don't like spraying my face after I put mascara on. And that's just the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. All right. So while we let that dry, what I need to do is find my tan that I want to put in my waterline. That is a little too dark. There we go. I'm gonna use this ABH pencil. Not too crazy, it, it has a brightening effect, but at the same time it's yellow. It, it's not white or it's not pink, it's yellow. Ah. All right, let's get, oh, that skin just melted, bruh. Okay, anyway, let's get into this mascara, y'all. I get to show y'all the full effect of this mascara now that I have no eyeshadow on. All right, so if my lashes were like longer, I would so rock my my regular lashes. But since my lashes are so thin, I mean not so thin, so like empty, like y'all see these inner corners are empty. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put a pair of lashes on. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna call these Zayla Bear. I'm gonna use my Zayla Bear lashes. Let me see how this is gonna look because I don't want it to be too much. I think we cool with this one. I'm gonna line my lips just a bit because I kind of want to keep them natural looking. All right, let's put these lashes on. Now these lashes are very wild, so they go in any direction they land. I'm gonna put on a Fenty gloss. Okay, so I'm going in with my Buxom gloss on top of this. All right, y'all, this look is done. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and fix it up, change my, well, y'all can't see my shirt, but I'm gonna put some body shimmer all over my body and then we'll be right back, all right? Y'all, this is it. This is everything. Like, look at this. This hair is so pretty. The part I could have did a better job on, but I just honestly wanted it to be more so like a flip over. 
with big wand curls. This is the same curly wig I was wearing in yesterday's video. I just added, um, combed, brushed it out and then did wand curls, big wand curls in it. So it has this big flip over sexy look. And I'm like obsessed with it, y'all. This looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I'm excited that I did this look for y'all today. I feel like this eyelash goes on this eye. If I'm being 100% honest. But anywho, y'all, this look is done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next slay. See you later.